Wednesday morning. And Stephen Wonky is here from uh, Taste Cheshire. Morning, Stephen. Good morning, Gavin. Good to see you again. I love it when you come in because you always bring great guests and uh, foods. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? When we've got so many passionate people making so many great products right across Cheshire that it really is a pleasure to expose them, inverted commas, to all of our people and uh, your listeners because there's just a taste sensation and that's what we're all about. So this morning's no exception. We've got some really special flavours for you to taste. I know you like uh, the spicy things a little bit and also things that are uh, not too sweet. Well, I think we've got something pretty special for you this morning. Okay, excellent. So we're talking chilies and pickles, and my guests are Debs and Manny Elias from Bongo's Rock and Roll Chilies. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, before we talk food, I've just got to talk Tears for Fears for a moment, Manny. <laughs> you were the drummer with Tears for Fears. I was affectionately known as the noisy one at the back. Well, you see, and you were there at the beginning of Tears for Fears' career, weren't at you? At the inception, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And, and you were involved with the album Songs from the Big Chair, which is the Tears for Fears album. Yes, it, it is in most people's minds. However, I have a real soft spot for the first album that they did, which is called The Hurting, which has Mad World on it. Yes, and, um, yeah, well, that was their breakthrough other. single, of course. It was, wasn't yes, it? absolutely, yeah. Thanks to John Peel and the like in and those days. Yeah, 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 the great late John Peel. And um, you, uh, whilst you were doing your music, you were sort of experimenting with chilies, it dates back that far, doesn't it? It does date back that far. I've always dabbled <laughs> in the chilli fields, basically. <laughs> and then uh, you I'm, met Debs. Uh, yes. And, and Debs decided, to, uh, Debs decided to, to turn it into something for public uh, consumption, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I bullied him into it, basically, Did yeah. You? I so, forced him, kicking and screaming, yeah. So he just wanted to mess around in the kitchen he making stuff. He was quite happy making it for himself and giving it away to friends, and I went, oh, Oh, actually, I think this would go down quite well with the general public. So, yeah, I forced him into it, really. And it's a fairly recent company. It's this year, I think, you established it. Is. it. Yeah, yeah, we started sort of officially trading on the 1st of September. So it really is very, very recent. But it's gone down an absolute storm. So, so yes, here we are. And you, Debs, are no stranger to the limelight. You've been on Corrie. Yes, Corrie, Emmerdale, Coldfeet. Various bits and pieces. Stephen will tell you you've just listed my top three favourite programmes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wish you could stay. I wish I could stay on the air till lunchtime at least. I'm amazed that you don't know the episode she was in. <laughs> <laughs> it will come back to me. It will come back to me. So tell us about your your products. Then there are you've actually got three products available We've at the moment. We've got three products. Um, we have what I call our entry level, which is the chili jam jaro, which is a sweet but hot uh, chili jam. Then we have our most popular product which is Manny's own recipe well they're all Manny's recipes but this one reminds him of Calcutta where he was born which is a spicy hot Indian chilli pickle with fresh green Indian chilies chopped into it so you get a lovely crunch and you get a flavour of India as well. <laughs> mm, my mouth's watering. Um, and then our other one is X Cream Chilli Crush which is like a Thai or Chinese sort of based um, like a dipping thing really. Right. You've got the word scream in there, that frightens me a bit. It does but all of our stuff is it's all about flavour, not the testosterone of eating the chilies. So it's not blow your head off. It's right. not your ghost chilies or your naga chilies. Okay, because I've had my head blown off once this year on this show Have already by, by, a, by a chilli person. Yeah. Yeah, you should hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you won't get that. I'll start you with the entry level and I'll, we'll build our way up. Is it possible to say what, what those rate on the Scoville scale? Do you know or is it not that sort of a thing? Um, I don't know. Quite low, actually. Indian right, chilies. Yeah, Indian chilies are actually quite low. I mean, we get people coming up when we're doing tasting saying, oh, it's not hot at all. But it's, it's not necessarily about the hotness no. of the chilli or the heat of the chilli. It's more about the flavours that we've put with it. Well, that's quite often a boysy thing, isn't it? Or it's not enough for me. But it's exactly that, once yeah. Once you've burnt your mouth, you can't taste anything anyway, it's so it's a waste of time, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Manny, you're agreeing with me. You've been eating this stuff since you were absolutely. a little boy in yeah, India. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, this is, um, it's like Deb says, it's really all about flavour, and I love the crunch because the, the chilli pickle itself actually has bits of chilli in it, which is very unusual because most people do sauces these days from what we've seen, which is one of the selling points that Debs liked and has uh, promoted, really, uh, as far as the, the chilli manjaro goes, which is a great name that was coined on tour, in fact, with Peter Hamill when I was working with Van de Graaff Generator a, a few years ago. We were sat in the back of a van <laughs> going through Italy somewhere and uh, I brought the pickle out. Wow. And uh, the violinist, a really good friend of mine, uh, Stuart, 
Stuart Gordon came out and said, Ah, what's that? I said, It's my chili pickle. He said, Mmm, chili manjaro. So, <laughs> you have just painted an amazing picture in my mind. Uh, you, so Peter thought, Hamill, somewhere in Italy, that... violins going on. <laughs> that was so, that's such a charming and funny thing. I thought, I'm, I'm going to nick that. I'll have that. <laughs> that's silly, brilliant. I'm sure he doesn't mind. Yeah. No, not so, at all. So, shall we start with the food then, yeah. Deb, shall we? Shall we start with the, uh, the beginners, the let's, entry let's, level let's you described it? entry level, which is, uh, I'd have a biscuit, a piece of cheese, and it's chilli jam. So it is sweet, however, we've made ours quite tangy. And this goes fantastically well with, like, a baked camembert. Um, you know, French bread, baked camembert, nice and yeah, runny, runny out of the oven. Cheese, oh, yeah, and then yeah, a dab yeah. of this. It, it seriously does not... I've had to put a lock on, on our story, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. It goes, and my mum is absolutely addicted to this stuff. Um, mm. But it's it's not too hot. It's, it's got a bit of a kick, a light kick, I would say. It's just mm. on the back end. And just feel that kick. It's just kicking in now. Yeah. Just... But it's very but it's pleasant. Very, I, could, yeah. I could go back for more and more and more. It is very more. And it's fantastic as well mm. with, like, as, used as a marinade. You could mm. add it into, like, mm. a barbecue sauce or something. And I can see what you mean about the sweet. It is sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah, no. Isn't it great the way that you get that sweetness at the start and then that nice warmth at the oh, end that fills yeah. the mouth? Mm. You get a full flavour. It's really good. Mm. That's the reason we wanted them here, because this is all about flavour. My juices are going. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they really are. Don't be taking that away. <laughs> We've got right. some more now. This are we is the moving on? Intermediate so chili manjaro. level. There you go. Okay, chili manjaro. Now, if you want to try the sauce first, just pick the sauce around the chilies. But if you if you're a chili eater, you should be all right with yes, a chili. Crunch. Yeah, fine. yeah. The crunch is really good, okay. and this is great with like cheese, okay. or you, cheese obviously you can sauce. have it with your poppadoms. It's great chucked into your scrambled egg because mm. you can mm. taste. It tastes mm. like mm. India, doesn't mm. it? It does. It tastes like Jalfrezi. A Jalfrezi, yeah. Which I had at uh, at the Pink Olive last yeah. week, and that's exactly the flavour I'm getting now. Fantastic. Beautiful. Mm. It's cumin. It's, it's about that... Mm. There's nice heat through it, though, as yeah, well. Yeah, it's got more of a kick than the first one, which, oh, yeah. which yeah, I was yeah. expecting. But again, it's still tolerable. And mm. Unless you're somebody that doesn't like spice at all, yeah, this is absolutely. something that's going to appeal to you. Oh, this is so nice. Don't, right, Steve, will you stop one. removing those? <laughs> 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 next one. Here you go. Try this with some sausage. These are Holly's sausages. So try that with that. So this is extreme. So this is extreme chilli crush. So it's hot as it gets. Give it a stir and try a bit of the crush. It, again, it's not super, super hot, but you can taste all the flavours of, like, Thailand or seeds China. Mm. Yeah. It's, the, it's the seeds, isn't it, where the, where the hotness is? Absolutely. Well, we went we went to um, Now Foods launch, and Lloyd Grossman loved this one. He said it had a really long flavour that kept yeah. developing, so there you go. Well, that's quite an endorsement, I isn't know, it? If Lloyd Grossman really likes it, that. that's amazing. <laughs> OK, here we go. On a, on a sausage. On a sausage. It's great with meat. Mm. Mm, it works really well with the sausage, does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? So you can use it I as a marinade or... I'm a huge sausage fan. <laughs> and, uh, you can add I it onto Chinese. I envy you um, being a judge on the sausage competition. But yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do that every year, yeah. That was, that was beautiful. It's and gorgeous, again, you could come back probably for a couple more goes on that, oh, couldn't yeah. you? Well, you can add it into the food you're cooking uh, or, you know, just add a spoon into a chilli con carne or something like that and it gives it a nice overall sort of smoky flavour. Do you know, you could even pop it into baked beans if you're just doing Absolutely. beans on toast just Absolutely. to give it a kick, couldn't you? Well, the chilli manjaro, I know Manny's boys use that with um, scrambled mm. eggs. They add it into the scrambled eggs mm. and cook with it. Eggs like bong dick. Eggs bong dick, yeah. <laughs> well, that, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed all three of those. I really genuinely did. Oh, thanks, Thank Gavin. So, it's bongos, rock and Roll chilies. That's the name we need to look Bongo, out for. Bongo's rock and roll pickles. Yeah, Bongo's absolutely. rock and roll pickles. And you're on Twitter. I know because you've been tweeting. We're, we are. So on Twitter, I'm going to follow Facebook, you. Facebook, all of that sort of stuff. Just give us your Twitter address again. It is at Bongo's ro rock and roll. Right, Bongo's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll with a no. <laughs> That's the showbiz way of doing it, though, it isn't is it? Rock and roll. Rock yeah, and rock and roll. roll. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. And, and I've brought in as well a little gift for you to say thank you for having us. Oh. It's, our, it's our Christmas box. Thank you very much. That's all three of the items that I've just tasted. Absolutely. Stephen, you can have the open ones now. I know. I'll, I'll get mine because um, <laughs> they are at the Christmas market that we're doing on the 20th and 21st of December in Town Hall Square. And this is the little Christmas pack that I think is just perfect for someone who likes that. So, so you're going to be on that on that. We uh, certainly are. On the Square, days, that market yeah, that weekend, the, the we'll last weekend before Christmas. That's right, with our Christmas hats. 
And looking... on Christmas lights, will all you, sorted. Will you have your new drum uh, with you uh, there, your new drum kit? You could do. It, will be, it will be in the bag back at home, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We might be able to persuade him. You yeah, know. well, we'll try and get clearance from the council to make a bit of noise in the town hall square that day. <laughs> Manny and Debs, thank you so much for coming in. A pleasure to meet you Lovely both. To it's meet been you a coming. pleasure, And really you enjoyed your so produce much, as well. Thank you, Stephen, for hooking us up. Yeah, definitely. It's absolutely brilliant. Much You're welcome. Much.